The Wrestler from 2008 was directed by Darren Aronofsky and it stars Mickey Rourke as Randy the Ram Robinson, Marissa Tomei as Cassidy, and Evan Rachel Wood as Stephanie. A once famous professional wrestler is forced to retire, but his neglected life outside the ring proves to be his fiercest opponent. Mickey Rourke is so real as Randy the Ram Robinson. Aronofsky had to fight to get him this role over Nicolas Cage and I'm glad he did because he just brings this effortless presence of a real fighter to the, to the film. He just feels like a real fighter in the way that he speaks, in the way that he moves. And it's, it's this realism, like, crossed with the cinematography that makes this film just feel so real and just raw. Marissa Tomei is stunning as Cassidy. I mean that both theatrically and physically she is perfect for this role. I just wish she had more of a part to play within the film. Cassidy wants to move away from where she lives right now. She wants to stop being a stripper. She wants to take her nine-year-old son and just get out, start a new life. Evan Rachel Wood plays Ram's lesbian daughter. Not that her being a lesbian has anything to do with the story. It's just she just is a lesbian and I think that's really cool. She resents her father for not being in her life when she needed him most and now that Ram's back in her life she has to decide whether or not she can forgive him. The more Aronofsky films I see the more I'm impressed by Matthew Libertique's cinematography. The fearless way in which he composes shots and experiments with new styles is inspiring. The soundtrack for The Wrestler is soft and thoughtful. It's not like Clint Mansell's previous work with Aronofsky where the music was very intense, energetic, or, or epic. Here it's just, it's just there to lift up the emotional weight of each scene. Aronofsky did not write The Wrestler and I think I'm beginning to see a pattern emerge. It seems to me that when Aronofsky writes and directs a film it feels unfinished. But when he directs someone else's story it feels still it feels a little inelegant but it it's, overall it's pretty damn great. Like for instance he wrote Pi but he didn't write Requiem for a Dream. He wrote the Fountain, but he didn't write Black Swan. I'd be interested to know what you guys think about this. Do you guys agree with me that he should maybe just stick to directing because when he does he makes really good films? Or do you think he's he should keep trying with the writing like he's still finding himself as a writer? I have nothing but good things to say about The Wrestler. In my opinion it's a must-see film and a step in the right direction for Darren Aronofsky. If you haven't seen it already, go and see it. It's really good. You'll enjoy it, I promise. Thanks so much for watching my review of The Wrestler. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I'm on my last leg now of the Darren Aronofsky film series. Thanks for watching these videos with me. I hope you've gotten as much out of them as I have. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about The Wrestler. If you want to see more reviews like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.